Good morning everyone, welcome back to JMC Creed. Today I am going to make my last Halloween card. I actually found this sitting prepared when I was tidying up. So I thought I would go and do it. Right, so where are we? There, right, okay. So I need to do my moon. I left that it over there out of the way. Right, I need I need what colour am I using? I'm going to use yellow and do my men I've just cut out a circle with a stitched circle die and I am coating it with squeezed lemon yet and I'm going to be using Tim Holtz min masks okay that's the basic coat down that's as quick and easy breezy and then I'm taking the medium one and I'm just going to let me see what's on this orange, how dark it is. And I'm just going to use them, whatever's left in this brush. No, I need a bit more wild honey. I'm using wild honey. Okay, let me see, there we go, there's our min, good to go. This is quite, quite quick. Right, put that over there. So, card base is not in here. Two envelopes are in there, right enough, but no card base. 5x5 five five card base and I have cut this die out ready and I am actually putting it on black this time apparently instead of a coloured piece so let's see how that goes right and that black card is Crafter's Companion Centura Pearl. I'm pretty sure. So let's see how well this sticks to it. Just put glue on. Arty farty. Wherever you can get it. And line it up. Right, that's that bit done. It's really quick card because I have most of it prepared. And that is going to go on there like that. And that black piece is most likely four and a half by four and a half. No, wait a minute. Let's just check. The black piece, yes, is four and a half by four and a half. And then the white piece will go down a quarter, which would be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the next thing you want to do is put on your moon, but you want to pop it up. So you do. You want to pop up your moon. I found these when I was tidying up and I need to use them. There we go. Sorry about that. I have it interrupted. Yes, so I'm using these up. They're a bit thicker than normal, but they're good to go. Right. Just guesstimate. Right, so this is a uh, Spellbinders ghosty. 
This is an Alina Cuttle tree die, and I have layered this a couple of times. So I have. Let's just put on some glue. We just want it to sit on the. He did it again. Noisy bugger. I told him off and then he nearly fell down the stairs and gave me a heart attack. <laughs> so, let me see. No, I don't want them just as big for that one. So this one's going on here like this. And as you can see, I just put a bit of black. Now, I want to double up that bottom one, I think. If I can... If I can, if it works, how far over have I? I can do it. Okay, so this is just some sort of abstract dye thing. You're supposed to cut it apart, but I keep all mine together and it cuts them all out like that, so it works for me. And then put where he goes to on there and to finish it off we're going to put our boo up there now this belongs on a die it says boo 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 and i just cut the bottom bit off it to use as i please and that is our quick halloween card actually I prefer that one than I do to the coloured piece. Okay, so there we go, our final Halloween card for this year. So thanks for stopping by, greatly appreciate it. Hope you're all safe and well. Till the next time, Jaggy's out.